how is it going? Um, loose riot clothes. Uh, there's a bunch of um, a bunch and bunch. There's not so many videos out out online about loose riot clothes and how they look. All you see is just pictures. So I'm gonna cover a little bit uh, about uh, the loose riot clothes that that I have. Absolutely fantastic clothes. Um, so we're gonna cover the. Um, the uh, soft soft shell anorex that is uh, the thicker one the c the cs uh, black label army and then we're gonna cover the uh, fleece anorex all right so let's start with the fleece anorex really nice quality uh like this right and so i'm uh i'm 178 tall i have a little bit of a beer, beer belly and uh, i'm 88 kilos so medium size fits me perfectly so I'll show you how it looks. You see? Really nice. And it has these long sleeves that you can pull over. It fits perfectly to the hand, right? Uh, it has a, a longer cut for riding, obviously. Really nice materials like is this soft uh, material really nice you have this pocket in the front perfect for putting stuff in keys and stuff and then you have two pockets on the sides like uh, it's one big pocket but you can enter from both sides and obviously you have nice fucking zippers that never break this is how it looks on the back you got these cool little logos here that are like uh, thicker material big logo here uh, of like this yeah, what's it called? Like a uh, pl plastic thingy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, really nice stuff. Like I wear all this stuff every day. It's good stuff. All right. Then we got in this color, also really nice. You can see, it's all really. This this is some real premium clothing for a really good price. Uh, you can find them, and of course we got this one as well. And these are all medium, so they're gonna have the same fit as um, as uh, as the other ones. Although now we come to the other one, the this is the uh, soft shell anorak. So you can you can hear the difference, kind of. It's different material. It's like rainproof material, a thick hood, really thick hood, if you compare to the other ones. Um, this is. This is really warm, really warm. And so medium doesn't fit on me in, uh, in this specific clothes. It's too tight. So I'll show you. Okay, so this is a large and it fits like perfect. Uh. Hold on one second. I get you. So this is the this is the large and you can see it fits perfectly on me. Long long cut at the bottom, perfect. Two big pockets, I mean one big pocket, enter from both sides, same big chest pocket here, really big, it's about this big, so you can fit I, I can fit three beers in here, like half centimeters beer, it's perfect. Um, this really big hood like it's some good material yeah that's about it and th this this stuff gets like really really hot so on a cold day i had this one uh i was i was i was standing outside in lithuania in the wind uh, it was six degrees and this this kept me warm so it's like good stuff uh, although this wouldn't keep you as warm because it's really thin. This is perfect for like 10 to 15 degrees and then it gets too hot. Uh, the mud flaps, really cool. Uh, the mud flaps are like really like thick material, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's really, really hard stuff. So uh, maybe it's worth the investment. I don't know how like rock, uh, rock shock and the other mud flaps are, but this is like some real, real durable stuff like i had trouble putting it on because it's like so tough to bend anyway um all the other clothing that they have fantastic 
uh, the socks, the mountain bike, the, the difference between mountain bike socks and technical socks, if you don't know, technical socks are thinner and mountain bike socks are thicker. So if you want thicker socks, go with the mountain bike socks. And if you want thinner socks, go with the technical socks. Technical socks are perfect for uh, road biking and mountain bike socks, well, in regular street shoes. Perfect stuff. All right. Have a nice day.